everyone. My name is Loriana. I'm the peer mentor for uh, Library 203, Section 2 this fall. And I wanted to show you a little quick um, way to cl do collaborative work learning <laughs> through, uh, through the Internet uh, by using and sharing Google Docs and editing them. Um, if you're wondering what the weird images on my desktop, it is something I picked up from taking uh, the History of Books and Libraries course actually last semester. And it's from an ancient manuscript, and it's a picture of a hell mouth. In case you're interested, I recommend that class. But anyway, let's get started with what I'm actually here to talk about. All right, so you're going to want to go to uh, drive.google.com, uh, which is what Google now calls their um, Google Docs. And so you'll sign in with your you know, primary Google address, the one that you would like to share with their classmates and your coworkers. So once you're in here, you're going to see a list of all your Google Docs. Um, so here's some that I've used for school and um, personal reasons. So, and here's the one that I've shared for Library 203. Anyway, so to start a new one, you're going to click Create, and then you can choose any of these uh, formats, a drawing, a spreadsheet, a presentation. Um, but for the sake of just showing you, I'll choose a document this time. So here's my new blank document. So you can give it a title up here. Let's call it Test Doc. And then you just edit it just like you would any other kind of Word document. And the you know, same goes for spreadsheets. It behaves pretty much the same way as Excel or any other spreadsheet um, application. Anyway, so I'll just do a little test message. And then um, if you want, make sure it's you have it all saved. Usually Google Docs will save it every few seconds, so it's pretty easy to keep it up to date. But you always want to be on top of that because there's nothing worse than working hard on something and then having all your changes erased. Um, so always be careful to save. Um, so you want to share it with other people. Let's say you're doing a group project. I'm going to just click Share. And there's a lot of ways to do it. You could share it on your Facebook or Google+. Um, but I'm going to stick with email. Um, so I'll enter in the addresses of the people I want to share it with. So this is just my other email address. And you'll keep this checked to notify them via email. So they'll get a little message. And you can add a little message too, like here is my test document. And then you can send a copy to yourself as well. And um, yeah, we'll paste the item in there too. So yeah, you can edit the message just sent out. So once you're ready to do that, and you can add multiple names you will save it, and then the new, the new uh, permission is up there, um, so that you'll have a list of all the people who can uh, edit it, and then you can change their permissions also. So I can say that this I'm also the owner, or I can comment, or I can only view it. For, for classwork, you're probably going to want to make sure everybody can edit it and have control over it. Um, so you'll just say save and you're done and um, once you'll get the email with a link to the document you can just click on it and then sign in with the profile that it's been shared with and um, you can get to editing so I find that this tool is really useful for group work online which can be really challenging given that everyone has different time zones they're working from and different schedules so many people in this list program have full-time jobs or full-time families or all of the above. So it can be really helpful to have a document that you can kind of come to in your own time and edit and work together asynchronously. Um, and I know I didn't wasn't really familiar with Google Docs and sharing everything until I was in this list program. So I wanted to make sure everybody knows going in about this tool because I think it can be really helpful. And um, thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful. Bye.